congratulations on the victory. Um, how are you feeling after that one? I feel great. I feel great. I knew she was going to be a tough uh, opponent when I signed the contract, but I knew that I could do some damage, but she's tough. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't finish her in that second round, but I definitely, definitely there's certain things that I want to improve on. Um, but overall, I feel great. You said in the cage afterwards that you weren't totally happy with your performance. What do you think you could have done better? I felt like um, go before walking out, I'm like, I haven't fought in over a year. So I forgot these feelings of excitement and knowing, okay, I'm going to punch. I'm going to throw some punches and they're going to throw some punches at me. So I didn't even know what to expect out of myself. I was like, man, I feel a little weird. But um, when I, you know, I started to get my groove more in the second round. I started off a little bit slower. Usually I'm known to be a fast starter. So I was not so happy with my performance. I feel like I could have done better as far as um, pushing the gas a little earlier. And uh, you talked about not having fought for a year. What, what has this past 12 months been like? I think it's been kind of crummy for everyone, but for you in particular with the positive tests and everything, what was it like <laughs> since the last time we saw you? Um, well, the last time I was here in Connecticut, unfortunately I had tested positive um, for COVID and it was against Desiree. So coming back, it meant a lot to me. I felt like I owed myself and I owe Connecticut a fight. And I felt as if I had unfinished business. So I was more than excited to, you know, take advantage of the time that I wasn't able to compete in October until recently to get back into the gym, work on a couple things. And uh, the rankings came out since the last time that you fought and you're sitting at number seven as of this week. Uh where do you go from here? You feel like you move up or, or what's the journey, uh, the short term journey for you? Well, my overall goal is to have another opportunity at the title shot. So one fight at a time, I wasn't overlooking Desiree at all. And I've just been watching all the females that fight in this division to, to see who I may be potentially be fighting. So I'm excited to hopefully climb right back up into the rankings and have another title shot. All right, we'll take a couple more questions here, Ronald. This is Ronald E. Smith from Getting Real. Vita, how are you doing? I'm doing well. You Before this fight, you were also coming off two losses. And now you in this one, you were able to get a W. Mentally, how are you able to get in the zone and not even think about the past? You know, I like to be in the present moment. That's one thing I love about fighting is you have to be present. doesn't matter what happened the round before, a minute before. You have to be present. So I definitely make sure I live in the moment and take a deep breath and embrace everything that comes with fight week. And for yourself, for the future, where do you, when would you like to fight again in Bellator? Um, the sooner the better. I definitely want to at least have two to three fights this year. I wasn't able to compete last year. So I definitely want to have a quick turnaround and get back into camp and, and stay active. Santiago. Hi, Vita. Congratulations on a solid performance. Were you surprised that one judge scored the fight a draw? Um, yes, I was. But at the same time, you know, I got that point taken away. So it didn't really surprise me. Um, you know, I knew going into the third round, like how I said earlier, that it might affect the judges scoring. But, um, you know, I'm not in charge of the judging. My, I want to make it easy for the judges and make sure that they know that I dominated. So, you know, I have no control over that. <laughs> you fought Denise Kielholtz back in 2018 and you have a win over her, but she's ranked ahead of you. Denise has won four straight since losing to you. Would you fight her again so you can overtake her in the rankings? You know, if the opportunity is there, yeah, I'll take it. If it's going to get me closer to the title shot, then yeah, I'll take it. Enjoy the victory. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for the time, Vita. Congrats on the win. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.